Hey friends. What are y'all doing? talking video again because I did a quiz on Instagram and majority of you guys wanted me to talk throughout the video and explain and all that good stuff so that's what I do until y'all tell me otherwise I love constructive criticism I'm not that type that like looks at you crazy you know like when you give some good constructive criticism I'm all about it so please leave a comment that's what the comments are for please leave a comment give me some feedback because I don't know what's going on here I need some help. So a little while ago, also I asked y'all, what did y'all think about Jeffree Star? And I was slightly surprised with the answers I got. So most of y'all said y'all love Jeffree Star, y'all love his makeup, y'all love his palettes. And I think a couple of people said they didn't like him, but I expected to lean way more towards the not like side because Jeffree Star, he's like actually controversial to talk about. And people sometimes don't even buy his products. And then some people, they pretend they don't like him and buy his products. And then there are the people who are so scared of other people not liking him that they don't buy his product. So as y'all know, I bought uh, the Bloodless palette. I just could not resist this palette. Like purple is like, purple is it. Like it is my color, like love purple. So I bought his palette just because, you know, it's a, it looks like a good palette. Me as an artist and I like, you know, aesthetic things like a palette with all purples and stuff like that in it. I cannot resist. I'm not gonna judge you if you purchase it and I'm not gonna judge you if you don't purchase it. Just do your research. Just be true to yourself. Cause I don't want, I don't want, you know, to hear somebody saying, oh, I hate Jeffree Star. And next thing you know, you see this purple eye or this blue eye or something like that. And it's just like, what palette is that, you know? So without further ado, let's just start the tutorial. So you gotta make sure your skin is moisturized. So I use this Clinique. Um, I usually use the gel version of this. This is the dramatically different moisturizing lotion. And I dilute it um, with the Mario Badesco. It moisturizes your face, it has good stuff in it. And I use this to dilute this so it won't leave my base extremely greasy, you know? You rub it down your neck. So in addition to the Bloodlust palette, I also purchased from Morphe, the Morphe X Jeffree Star brush set collection, and I just got the face and eye brushes. So the last thing we're gonna be trying out today, who is also a controversial influencer, is Jaclyn Hill's Loose Highlighter in Balm. So these are the brushes. And they just have, you know, the logo on there and the number. These things are gorgeous. And these are my little friends I got. That is also a Morphe X Jeffree Star, but I needed some new beauty blenders. So these are Morphe sponges and they're just, you know, pink and cute and I purchased these eye brushes because they were on sale as well because I needed some more eye brushes. So y'all already know what's good here. I am going to put on my eyebrows and carve out my eyebrows and prime my eyes and I'll be right back. That's a good brush, man. So Y'all are getting my genuine, honest reaction. 
this is the first time I'm ever trying this palette, like dipping a brush in the palette. Lowest quality when it's heavy. Mm. Here it is. Ooh. Look at that. Who else you know how to packaging like that, girl? All right, so we're gonna start out with the shade High King and we're gonna blend it into the crease. Y'all know I like starting from darkest to lightest, so. And y'all know I always say after you pack on your shadow, blend out the edges and then you can add your other one. So we're gonna continue doing that. Blended effect and then blend out the edges. So, FYI, I did go back in with High King and intensify that dark purple pink a little bit more so when we cut the crease, it can just be like pow, you know what I'm saying? stop my concealer right there and you see if I all happen to open my eyes you will still be able to see the cut crease there so the look I'm doing it calls for the back end to be blended out too I'm not doing a wing cut crease but I'm just have to conceal that part out right quick I'll be right back so this is vivid mood and I'm just taking this is like a ruby kisses brush and I just bought it from the freaking hair store nowhere and we're gonna just put this in the front here. So now we are going to take Deviant and we're going to put it on the outer side. So we are going to take, we're actually gonna take this same brush we put Royal Paint on. So we're just coloring bag i'm gonna say coloring bag we're gonna pull the pigment back so it can blend into deviant like that so now we are going to go in with blood queen and this is the darkest purple shade in the palette on a angled brush we're going to make a liner with this <laughs> So we have our winged liner now. We're gonna blend blend it out and just blow it out really, really big. And we're gonna be dipping into pink magic and we're gonna put that on the outer wing part of our look. We're just gonna kind of pat it. I wonder if I tried it with my finger. Cause it's very bright. Oh yeah, it, 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 it's there with the finger. The finger is it, the finger. So now we are going to take our shade Your Majesty. And I have a little brush. So we're gonna put that in our inner corner. So we're pretty much done with our eyeshadow look. So I will come back and show you what else I do after my base is done. Just taking my powder and 
setting my concealer. So I'm gonna be taking Blood Queen and I'm going to be putting it underneath my eye and add that line back into my fake wing I made. We're just gonna trail the lash line with Blood Queen. So we're gonna put on lashes. These are the 25 millimeter, I believe. So I'm going to make a sandwich cause that's what's beeping the microwave with my bacon in it. So I'm gonna make a sandwich, I'm gonna eat it, drink some Mountain Dew, and I'm gonna come right back with my lashes on. So I keep saying I'm finished with my base, but I'm not. We still gotta put on our powders to contour our cheeks and our nose and blush up our face and all of that stuff. corner last unless it's shiny because I keep messing it up like how I contoured the nose and then I wiped it away and just I'm just doing too much I'm doing the most so I will go reapply your majesty in my inner corner and I will be right back so our last product Jaglyn loose highlighter in bomb I'm pouring the pigment into the uh, cap just a little bit, literally just a little bit. And we are going to see what it does. I'm so excited. And I'm using the JS5 and it looks like this. And it's probably for eyeshadow, but we gonna use it for Jacqueline today. Ooh. like a cocoa bean type of liner it has a tint of red in it and then we're gonna go in with this color icon lip gloss by wet and wild and it has those um purple reflex kind of unicorn s and this is their like zodiac collection aries did not have a cute color it was like a dark brown and i'm like what aries you know wear that what what aries and what universe does, do the aries wear dark brown like where anyway so this is the Pisces sign so I'll give the bloodlust palette a whole 10 Jaclyn Hill highlighter I would give it a 10 as well the Morphe X Jeffree Star brushes um I like them pretty okay. I would give them a nine and a half out of ten just because I mean if you don't have brushes, these are some good brushes to purchase, but are they some out of this world brushes that do what the other brushes can't do? No, they're just like they they work how brushes are supposed to work. And the beauty blenders in the collection, they were really good. It's very soft and it has little pores, little bitty pores, so it doesn't suck up all your makeup. The I Got This set that um, I used was very, very good. I would definitely recommend it. I'm gonna put on my wig. I advertised it, I think yesterday or the day before yesterday. It's the Icy Wig. So this is my Icy kind of beige blonde wig and I named this wig Inuyasha. These how people be wearing their wigs for real though. You know, I appreciate you guys' support 
and all and i hope you enjoyed my tutorial y'all can purchase one of my wigs um just dm me or you can email me make sure you shop with auburn her business is called billion babes incorporated and she has a couple of shades of lipstick and um the palette use code royal for some money off i hope y'all being safe in quarantine and i'll see you in the next one